Hello and welcome to my channel Tools for Ascension by Wolfgang and I'm Wolfgang. And today we will be talking about your subterranean connection. Are you incarnated with the subterraneans? Yes or no? And do you have a karma with the subterraneans? Um, maybe good one, maybe bad one. Um, are there maybe your spirit guides? Uh, what about karma from Atlantis? And yeah, should we hook up with them? So um, this and much more, you know, in the following video, you know, where I will be going over the topic of subterranean civilization and the different perspectives on them, you know. And of course, please use your own bullshit meter, you know, to see what resonates with you. You know, don't just say, oh, it must be true, because Wolfgang said so. I'm not your daddy, I'm not your guru, and I'm not your husband. So, um, what are the subterranean realms? So, the uh, general, you know, accepted uh, scientific paradigm, you know, thinks that <coughs> we have a, a thin um, crust, um, you know, um, that is floating, um, basically on an ocean, you know, of magma, and in the center of the earth, you know, are the heavy metals, you know, there's a big iron core. And, um, you know, it's a little bit more complicated, but in principle, you know, that is it. You know? So those continental shelves, you know, are loosely kind of floating on this ocean of magma, you know, mostly in slow motion, you know, sometimes expanding. Mm -hmm. And then also sometimes, you know, they skip a little bit and then you have tsunamis and other catastrophe. And of course, you know, this theory of floating on an ocean of magma, is supported by the fact that in deep mining, like the coal mining in Germany, which is about a kilometer and up to a mile, probably by now, you know, under the ground, the deeper you go, the hotter it gets, you know, and not just there, but, <laughs> you know, everywhere else where the deep mining is done. <clears throat> So um, that means, you know, the deeper down you go, you know, um, you know the, the more, you know, the hotter it gets. Um, so um, Corey Good um, promoted, you know, the idea of honeycomb earth, you know, where there are big cave systems, you know, in the crust of the earth. And, um, you know, that um, kind of resonates with me and also makes you know, a lot of scientific um, sense, you know, if you have um, calcium, you know, can be, um, you know, dissolved by, you know, water very easily and you automatically can get huge caves over time. Mm -hmm. And of course, some of them have been discovered. <laughs> and, you know, so there is, um, you know, this is some realm of strong possibility. Now, there's also the um, idea of hollow earth theory, you know, Admiral, Admiral Byrd, you know, allegedly, you know, flew, you know, into one of those holes mm -hmm, at the poles, you know, so one hole is supposed to be at the North Pole, one hole at the South Pole, and, um, you know, and got into like an inner space. Um, so, you know, some people say, and I don't think that is his report, you know, that the idea is that you have like a crust, you know, of earth with a pole, with a hole up and then a hole down. And then inside you have another um, sun. So the whole thing is hollow. You know, somehow, you know, they stick, <laughs> they have reverse gravity. So they stick then to the walls, you know, so they don't fall down. Mm -hmm. And um, so... It doesn't make much sense, you know, on the 3D level, you know, I have to say. Um, but, you know, there are some other consideration to this. So this theory, you know, only makes sense when you consider higher dimensional physics and reality. Mm -hmm. um, just like, you know, when you astral travel, you know, yeah, you can float, you know, through the wall and through the ceiling, or when you get abducted by the grace, you know, they also float you through the walls and ceilings. And many people have reported that UFOs, you know, fly straight into a mountain, you know, or into the ocean. 
you know, bang, you know, without slowing down. So, you know, by normal physics, you know, we would expect a splash. You know, <laughs> either the UFO splashes, you know, or the mountain or the ocean splashes, but none of this. You know, so <laughs> there are physics, you know, by which you can, you know, obviously move through what we consider solid mass. And so, in that point of view, you know, especially when you go into more, you know, angelic and higher and higher consciousnesses, you know, where they're not living in carbon-based life form bodies, you know, but in, let's say, higher dimensional matrices <laughs> of plasma or whatever configuration you can imagine, you know, so, um, you know, so then, you know, that is maybe a reality. Now, um, there are also... <laughs> And I, I didn't even look this up, so this is just, you know, got stuck, uh, stuck somewhere in my mind. <clears throat> so, you know, the uh, uh, Mahabharat, you know, this big epic, you know, considered the biggest in the whole world. Mm -hmm. By volume, I would say. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the um, heroes there, you know, the Pandavas, so they're the original, you know, five heroes. Of course, no girls there. Um, just guys, but the strong guy of them, his name is Bhima, you know, so he's reported, so he took like a dip in a river, and then, you know, he got entangled with the Naga princess, so Naga is the Sanskrit word, you know, for snake, mm -hmm. and so, um, of course, this was just the snakes that we are seeing here, so, um, you know, so she um, had a human form, you know, and of course, exquisite human form. And so, you know, um, Bhima and this Naga princess, you know, spend a lot of time in uh, a time bubble, <laughs> having fun and creating a son in her subterranean kingdom. You know? And so this Naga princess had the ability to shift into a super attractive um, human form initially, mm -hmm, but later changed into her original form. And, you know, imagine a human with a skin made of, you know, tiny little beautiful scales, you know, like you see in snake. You know, maybe throw a little pearlescence in there, you know, so this can be very, very beautiful. And um, so then, um, you know, Bhima emerged, and after, you know, what could be considered a full householder life, you know, but when he emerged from this time bubble, you know, a little space, you know, a little time had passed. So, you know, there is this dimensional time bubble shift, and of course this happens also in other story, you know, northern, you know, uh, myth, you know, where um, pure-hearted uh, children or people, you know, fall asleep in a fairy cycle, you know, somewhere, and then, you know, wake up in, you know, the kingdom, you know, with dwarves. I'm not sure, can we say dwarves? Do we have to say little people now? You know, but, um, you know, underground people, you know, the ones that do mining. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, and then when they come, you know, after maybe what is months for them back, you know, 50 or 100 years have passed. You know, there are several um, reports of this. This is not just a legend, you know, this is pretty much reported. Um, super interesting. Mm -hmm. And so, um, just to, you know, speak more about those Nagas. <laughs> Um, so these Nagas, you know, they are considered super sophisticated and also, you know, psychically, you know, evolve. You know, compared to them, I mean, we humans, we are chimps, not bonobos, chimps, you know, aggressive, you know, crude, <laughs> territorial. Yeah. Now, um, about personal evidence, you know, that is kind of, you know, where, um, where I put the power on, you know, what I have experienced myself, if you ask me, you know, that's where the pay dirt is. So, in my work with my clients, you know, and of course I take clients, you know, if you're interested, um, you know, just look below and, you know, you find a link, you know, and send me an email or go to my website. Um, so, um, with my clients, you know, I focus, you know, on the maximum amount of clearing 
you know, of karma and curses, you know, for my clients, you know, to assist in my client's ascension. You know, so these, um, these um, dark energies, you know, of, of karma and curses, you know, they keep your vibration down. <laughs> and, of course, you know, they are... Um, and also, you know, it helps Gaia, you know, when you clear these energies through forgiveness or other graces, um, you know, it also, you know, helps Gaia. So, um, many clients of mine, you know, have been heavily involved in Atlantean incarnations, you know, not in human incarnations. And let me just be very clear here. You know, with the Atlantean incarnation, I consider, you know, the Atlanteans, they were much taller than the humans. They had elongated skulls, you know, many of them had red hair. You know, and of course, the Smithsonian Institute, you know, just... You know, <laughs> they have a bad rap. You know, it's very shameful, very, very shameful. It's actually extremely shameful. They should be so ashamed of themselves. And it's, it's not funny. You know, so anyhow, uh, <laughs> that's their karma. <laughs> um, not for me to judge. So, um, these um, Atlantean these Atlantean incarnations, you know, they were like uh, much smarter than the humans. You know, they had a huge pineal gland, you know, they were very clear-voined. So they were the original pharaohs, you know, the so-called god kings. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, they are also shown much larger than um, humans are. Mm -hmm. well, I um, learned, you know, when I studied fine art <laughs> history, um, you know, that in Egypt, um, the perspective was not used, that size was given by importance. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be always right. You know, so sometimes, you know, you can see them... <laughs> holding a line, <laughs> or, you know, or the humans are very small compared to them. It seems to be, in certain cases, quite accurate. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, so these were the, the humans that we are, we are kind of the more dumbed-down, you know, slave race. That, of course, you know, is a, like a multifunction tool, you know, like a Swiss army knife. <laughs> it has its advantages. Um, so, no, the, um, while I'm going to the Atlanteans, um, so the Atlanteans, uh, they fought a lot of high-tech wars, you know, with these subterranean species. You know, not just the Nagas, you know, and other races too. And, you know, my clients, uh, many times, they were involved in designing weapons of mass destructions, like earthquake weapons and bioweapons, you know, and some other stuff. Um, you know, vibrational stuff, and, um, you know, those of you that are up, you know, on <laughs> uh, conspiracy theory, you know, on the far end, you know, you may, you know, see, you know, that these cycles are repeating, right? And um, so anyhow, you know, when you kill a large amounts of people, you know, especially very psychic ones, um, that never works out good. You know, so the results were, you know, curses, you know, of Nagas, you know, and they're really good at it, you know. So I had to, you know, negotiate with several Naga princesses, you know, that cursed, you know, those um, generals and scientists that were involved. You know? And so, I mean, that's the reason those people came to me. They couldn't take that pressure anymore. Uh, so, you know, so there is, um, you know, evidence in my past life regressions, you know, that these three arms exist and definitely affect us. So, you know, another client of mine, for instance, um, planned to go to Mount Chester, you know, and, um, you know, and of course we wanted to, you know, see uh, what's going on there, you know, is there anything with past lifetimes, etc. <laughs> you know, how to take, you know, advantage of something like this, a great opportunity, you know. And so when I took her under, you know, we found out that she was actually at this time, you know, incarnated in Talos. You know, that's this civilization, you know, underground there, or maybe in a dimensional bubble. Mm -hmm. And so then we tuned into, you know, into, you know, this particular incarnation. And, you know, it kind of blew our mind. So she was incarnated as the whole 
flipping family. You know? So she, her soul, you know, was the mama, was the daddy, and two kids. So we are here, you know, as the surface humans thinking, oh yeah, if I could hook up <laughs> this my twin flame, you know, I've had it made, you know, I'm gonna, you know, ride into the sunset of nuptial bliss. Well, and here you have a whole family <laughs> of twin flames together. You know, so that just kind of gives you an idea, you know, how, you know, happy those people are. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, before, you know, this guided meditation, you know, uh, that give me, let me give you a synopsis, you know, to uh, give you a better mental framework. So, the reasons that cultures, you know, provided they have the good luck and technology to not only, you know, find access to underground cave systems and have the technology, you know, to develop life in there and to sustain life, you know, are uh, manifold. Mm -hmm. So, when you look at history, you know, it's a constant process of deconstruction. You know? um, so, you know, through wars, you know, um, cities get leveled, infrastructures, you know, get destroyed, point, um, wells got poisoned, olive trees got cut, it takes 80 years to regrow an olive tree, that's three, four generations, mm -hmm. you know, flipping olives. Mm -hmm. means rebuilding everything, you know, means repopulation, you know, and relearning, you know, knowledge, traditions, you know, get stolen, you know, the smart ones get killed off. Mm -hmm. And of course, all the depression, you know, that is, you know, from the survivors, mm -hmm. and of those that get enslaved and raped and so on, you know, all due to flipping war. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I've... <laughs> So I, you know, looked at the history, for instance, you know, of the, um, you know, the, the crescent there, you know, um, the, uh, what's this, um, Sumer, you know, Babylonian, you know, this area, Ur, you know, those city-states, you know, the Sumerians, so to say, the cradle of civilization, <laughs> with the Anunnaki, <laughs> those guys. And, well, basically, you know, you had, like, city-states um, of about 250,000 people, you know, quarter million people, and about every two, three, maybe four generations, you know, these cities got conquered, you know, ransacked, and, you know, everybody, like, either killed, you know, or turned into slaves, you know, or kidnapped as prostitutes, you know, whatever. You know, and reintegrated into the other tribes, you know, probably not very happy. Mm -hmm. I mean, constantly, you know, back and forth. It's it's unbelievable. <laughs> mm -hmm. So um, that's just you know the very obvious. Mm -hmm. Now all that you know falls away when you cozily hidden you know somewhere underground. And all this energy wasted on war, you know, can be invested into the civil sector, you know, civil sector. Imagine every tank being blown up in the Ukraine now mm -hmm, could have been a public swimming pool. You know, that costs several million, mm -hmm, you know, or could have been in a, a nicely equipped high school. <laughs> you miss everything. Mm -hmm. You know, or could have been a beautiful landscape park. I mean, I don't think it cost that much. Mm -hmm. Or it could have been, let's say, 20, um, like half million dollar homes, <laughs> you know, for free. Mm -hmm. And of course, it could also have been that Bobby and the other vets are not shooting up in the park anymore. You know, so I hope you get the idea. Mm -hmm. So, besides, um, you know, wars, um, you know, the subterranean also, you know, sidestep a big civilization killer, you know, droughts. Uh, the Maya and those before, you know, the culture they're built upon, you know, got wiped out by climate change and droughts. Uh, the mm, tribes of the Midwest, the Anastasia, etc., you know, they also all got wiped out by uh, droughts, the cliff dweller civilization. I talked to the anthropologist there, you know, I did a video on that for PBS. And um, <clears throat> we, 
And, well, you know, it, it's in so many places. It's uh, quite obvious. I don't want to bore you. <laughs> and um, another one is seasons. You know, having a winter season is, you know, uh, not that productive. You know, imagine you could, you know, grow stuff, you know, all year round, you know, way more efficient. Mm -hmm. You know, for nature, you know, you completely rebuild, you know, throw all the leaves away. <laughs> you know, it's inefficient. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you know, the opposite of growth, you know, floods, tsunamis, you know, these um, are um, not just, you know, set you back, you know, um, but then, you know, sometimes, you know, they can also wipe out civilization. And, you know, volcanoes. So volcanoes, yeah, you know, they can do the Pompeii thing, you know, take out a city. But, you know, sometimes that led to a nuclear winter, you know, and sometimes it got really bad, you know, again, extinction event, you know, or at least, you know, you had a kind of a small ice age, maybe for 50, 100 years, where nothing was growing. You know, again, you know, and all the surplus, you know, is gone, you know, everything shrinks back. And, well, ice ages, well, there is just a big eraser, you know, <laughs> whole Europe, you know, you know, big mile or several miles thick, you know, piece of ice, you know, crushing and grinding down everything, you know, same with North America, you know, I mean, no building state, you know, what culture, you know, um, can, you know, stand um, those glaciers, you know, so big, 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 you know, so anything... <laughs> Mm, um, before that, you know, is gone. You know, it's just so gone. Uh, and then, of course, you know, we have those meteorites. You know, um, some of them, you know, they're supposed to be maybe accidental. You know, and some of them maybe courtesy of the Galactic Federation of Worlds. You know, that didn't like what the Atlanteans were doing. You know, and they, they decided, no, that's nothing. Let's, you know, scrap that project and let's start over again. <laughs> you know? um, this and greetings from your creator beings. You know, we love you, but not like that. <laughs> you know, and so then, you know, there went the way of the dinosaurs, you know, and the Atlanteans. You know, so those underground, you know, didn't um, touch them that badly. So, in conclusion... You know, cultures that move underground can evolve without constant disruption and waste of valuable resources. You know? And because it's just way less traumatizing, you know, you have peace. Peace, peace. You know, and when you have peace, you know, you can focus, you know, on your uh, enlightenment. And so... <laughs> You know, and some of these people, you know, that made it underground, they um, come from different races. You know, they are like reptilians, you know, they're descendants of snakes, of humans, of giants, you know, smart ones, dumb ones. And, uh, you know, some are living in a physical 3D reality, you know, that you can touch. And others, you know, live in higher dimensions of Earth, you know, like the different astral planes, maybe even 5D, 6D, and beyond. You know, that would be the realms, maybe, where you, you know, some of them you may find fairies or unicorns and dragons you know, on those realms. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, and they are definitely also, they're not carbon-based life forms anymore. You know, and what is solid to us is air to them. You know. And again, from their perspective, you know, the Earth may seem hallowed with the sun in the center. You know, remember, you have all like splashing into the mountains. So, I mean, when we face it, <laughs> these surface dwellers are their crippled, toxic, trailer trash cousins. Mm -hmm. Really traumatized. Mm -hmm. And so some of those, you know, take pity of us and, you know, want to assist us and help us. Mm -hmm. And so, and also just to make things a little easier, you know, from now on I shall call the subterranean subs, you know, which doesn't mean substitute teacher or subwoofer, you know, or U boat submarines, you know, but sub for subterranean. 
Uh, we shall also be using the um, process of Socrates, you know, the great philosopher who would ask his inner spirit questions and claimed to have never gotten a wrong answer. Well, I mean, Lotto probably wasn't around by then. Uh, so, according to the ancient Hindu tradition, you know, as um, they are saying, you know, as you become enlightened, you know, you progressively, you know, start you know, to display certain qualities. You know, the first quality is, you know, sat, means an eternal life. You know, so you realize that you're eternal being. And, you know, yeah, most of my clients, you know, after a couple of lifetimes, <laughs> you know, past life regression, you know, they got that. <clears throat> you know, maybe not all the time, you know, but, you know, in general, you know, they got that. Now, um, you know, they're also saying that the next stage is shit. You know, and that means uh, knowledge, Sanskrit for knowledge. So, you know, yeah, when you talk to your high self and when you elevate it in your vibration, you know, you get these uh, good answers, just like Socrates did. You know, and this why, you know, this breathing and smiling and visualization is important, you know, if you want to get decent answers. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, Ananda, that means heavenly bliss, you know, heavenly love, you know, and there, you know, your heart chakra as well as your higher heart chakra, you know, they start um, blazing, <laughs> you know, it's really beautiful feeling as if you, you know, fall in love. Mm -hmm. And so then you really know that you are, you know, connected, highly spiritual, you know, and then you get some pretty decent, correct answers. So we will be, you know, um, following these type of processes. All right, so make sure, you know, you sit nice and comfortably mm -hmm, and close your eyes and smile, you know, don't embarrass me here in front of source. Mm -hmm. And, you know, breathe deeply, you know, breathe all the way in and all the way out. You know, we're not zenning out here right now, we're just purifying, you know, um, our chakras, our filters, our pathways, nadis, meridians. You know, you know, our subtle body, so heavy breathing, heavy breathing. And you imagine that you breathing in the chi of Mother Earth, just like a, a cloud of love, you know, through your legs as well as through your coccyx, through your basically root of your spine, into your whole body, all the way up to the head. And then the exhale, you know, send your love and your chi with a smile, you know, into the earth. Again, you know, root chakra and legs into the earth. Mm -hmm. Smile like an idiot, you know, and basically squash this energy back and forth, up and down. You know, the better you make that, you know, the easier and faster you will relax and gain actually energy. And we ask our spirit guides and absolute source and our high self to please clear any resistances and blocks and trauma and dark technologies and spells and curses and implants and vows, whatever, you know, blocks your connection with your earth mother like to have this clip now as much as possible and I'm going to just keep on nod your head and keep on breathing and yeah it already starts to kick in yes it takes about five seconds nice and keep on breathing back and forth and smile like an Indian Mm -hmm. And now we jack this up a little bit, you know, imagine you're turning into a rocket man or a rocket woman and you have a jet, you know, one jet on each foot and one jet at your root chakra. Mm -hmm. And so when you exhale, you know, just turn on those jets mm -hmm. and burn out anything that is still, you know, stuffing up your filter. Yeah, some of you might get quite hot. <laughs> I'm getting the tingles. 
Mm -hmm. Nice, cool. Yeah. And now, time to the palette. You know, the highest top of the palette. Mm -hmm. And smile and start inhaling. You know, the love of Milky Way Galaxy, which you imagine being at the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Inhale the love. All the way into the coccyx, and then send your love all the way up your spine. Keep it in the nerve fiber, and then up the top of the head. Try to reach the ceiling with your imagined breath out there. Excellent. So pull it in, and then all the way out. And with this breath, with this loving chi, you know, this loving if you smile, you know, you start scrubbing your spine and your crown chakra. And on top of that, we also ask the spirit guides, you know, our high self, you know, and Milky Way Galaxy to clear any sabotage, any blocks, resistances, spells, curses, like reverse crowns, crowns of thorns, skull caps, you know, brain damage, all kinds of wounds, implants, you know, blood magic, and heart of magic, <laughs> mummy magic. Yeah, it's scary stuff, you know, but this all happens. I've seen it all. <laughs> you clear as much as you can right now without us having to look at it. Um, 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 and that should be kicking in now, you know, you feel more fluffy around the head. But keep pumping that love back and forth, you know, that purifies those channels. Nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's ask for the heavenly beings, you know, of love and light to just shower us with their love and with their updates and their protection energies. Um, um, um. And we also ask, you know, that everything that happens in and from this session here is going to be for the highest good and divine harmony with the most wonderful outcomes. Um, and we want to have a great time, you know, lots of love, joy, and happiness. And we ask that whatever resonates with us and our truth, according to our high self, that we accept this and that nothing that's, you know, erroneous or not applicable for us, you know, that this be rejected or cleared, you know, automatically. Mm -hmm. So completely safe and innocent. Mm -hmm. And now we just start pulling in, you know, the love from heaven and earth into your heart, you know, be greedy, needy. Then we also ask the spirit guides, high self and source, you clear any pain and other obstacles, resistances to love. You know, sometimes we vowed not to love anymore. It hurts too much. You know, or exclusive love, only Jesus or Krishna or Billy Bob forever, ever. So let's have those limiting um, vows cleared now. Amen, amen, amen. Mm -hmm. And also the dark thought forms, you know, and courts mm -hmm, and curses, vows, you know, from others, and whatever we took in, you know, out of compassion, it, you know, it doesn't help them. We still carry that crap around, so like that, they're clear too. Um, um, um. And as we are already with it, you know, uh, dear spirit guides, you know, clear all the stuff, <laughs> all the trauma from our ancestors and our own incarnations that still keeps us in survival consciousness. You know, fear, dark programming, you know, horror, you know, anything negative. Please find our removal and clear out, continue to finish. Uh -huh. Mm 
And you also asked absolute source and our spirit guides and high self and Archangel Michael and other divine protectors of humanity to make sure that no shapeshifters, you know, or other service to self entities, you know, can manipulate us or attack us in any way. Um, um, um. And now we ask your divine aspect, you know, your high self, to just descend into your awareness, you know, in your body right now. Um, smile. Oh yeah, and you probably feel a little taller in your shoulders, you know, more radiant. So, and just relax yourself and let that part, you know, adjust you, tweak you a little bit. Make sure you smile. Mm -hmm. And so let's just, uh, <clears throat> um, you know, um, develop this quick code. It's quite useful. I mean, if you, you know, I mean, what is yes and what is no. So, um, you know, when you ask a question, you might get a resonance. Yeah, this feels, you know, right and this feels wrong. You know, that's one thing you can go by when you tune into your heart. You know, another one is when I ask, you know, this is a, a yes. You know, and, you know, your energy would flow from the heart to the head. You know, upper feeling, beautiful, uplifting. And the more it happens, you know, the stronger it happens, of course, the stronger the yes. And the same for the no, just down. You know, so a no will be no energy, you know, from the heart to the feet. You know, like, ugh. <laughs> ugh, you know, like a downer. Of course, the stronger the downer, you know, the stronger the no. All right. And um, so, let's just start. You know, I mean, even if you get a few questions right, you know, that's good. You know, it will give you some help, something, you know, to start with. So don't get discouraged, you know, when sometimes you don't get an answer. You know, you can always go later on to it. You know, and sometimes, you know, you will get an answer, you know, and that's, ooh, that's concerning. You know, and you think, oh my God, I'm in big trouble. You know, how can I, you know, get out of this? And, well, you can always get some professional help, you know, from a decent shaman, or you can contact me, you know, any decent healer. You know, should be able, you know, to help you. You know, you don't take apart your transmission from your car either. <laughs> you know? And sometimes, you, you know, you gotta go, you know, to a, a professional. You know, but at least you know, you know, that there is something wrong. You know, and, uh, you know, that can really help in many, many, many cases. Well, first of all, uh, first questions, you know, did you have a past lifetime as a sub? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. And um, are you currently incarnated as a sub? Yes or no? Now we talked about different sub-races, you know, so you might have been just incarnated in one type of sub-race, you know, but you may have been also in several. So, in how many different sub-races have you been incarnated in? And so if you <laughs> got a yes for any of those, of course you want to know, you know, what is the bleed over, you know, or the effect on you in general. Mm -hmm. So let's ask for that and you may get a feeling or an idea or you see yourself in a situation. So what's the bleed over or effect on you in general? Yeah, okay, so for myself, I get a pretty uplifting feeling, you know, so <laughs> they are obviously not knuckle draggers down there. So let's just go through all the different scenarios and see, you know, how you resonate with this. 
So let's just start on a real low level. Mm -hmm. So there are humans, you know, that are like tunnel rats. You know, they are living in a subway system, kind of like homeless people or in the dumps. You know, somebody has been, you know, even set out there, abandoned there. Mm -hmm. So do you have incarnations or had incarnations, you know, in those dump subway systems? Yes or no? Now, on another level, you know, there are uh, maybe, <laughs> you know, secret labs, you know, we've seen those movies, right? <laughs> Umbrella Corporation, you know, or even underground prisons. Mm -hmm. um, are you, you know, stuck in one of them? Yes or no? And if a yes, um, ask, you know, how many aspects of you? And now the other question is, you know, are you working in one of those as a scientist or a handler? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Let's ask that one again. <laughs> <coughs> You know, and are you working there as a scientist or handler, yes or no? Alright, now uh, let's go further. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we're just going to go through all the different, you know, subterranean races or categories. And I'm not claiming, you know, that we are com complete here in the whole list. You know, this is just to get you started. You, you know, remember, this is a shooting from the hip type of, <laughs> you know, um, meditation. You know, this is not a custom meditation, you know, person to person. All right. Are you uh, in the subterranean in, in incarnated or have been incarnated as an evolved human? Yes or no? Now, are you also, or were you incarnated, subterranean, you know, in an Atlantean body form? Yes. Now, are you, or were you incarnated, subterranean, you know, as a Naga, you know, the snake-like people? Yes or no? Or are you, or were you also incarnated, you know, subterranean, as a reptilian? You know, this would be more like a crocodile type of person. You know, that kind of a skin. Now, are you an incarnated, or were you incarnated, you know, as a sub? as a Draco, you know, that's like the extraterrestrial, you know, um, warrior form of the Draco. Yes or no? Now, uh, are you or were you incarnated as a sub, as a raptor? Now that is more like, you know, those things that you see in like more like bird-like, you know, running on high legs, hind legs, like Jurassic Park, mm -hmm. those kind of guys, yes or no. And um, have you been, or you know, are you incarnated as, as a sub, as an insectoid? You know, evolved insects, uh, the Hopi claim that, you know, uh, when the last you know, cataclysm was, you know, they got uh, saved, you know, underground by the ant people. So this would be insectoids. 
and they are more original to the earth than the reptilians. You know, the insects, they can take a lot more, you know, punishment from the environment. So they're the toughest, they came first, you know, then the reptilians, you know, you know, not as tough, but also super tough. You know, and then the mammals, you know, they're kind of the softies. <laughs> Right. Now, um, are you incarnated, you know, as a, or were you incarnated as a giant underground? And that's, a, you know, it's asked, you know, like one of those stupid giants, you know, that loved to eat humans. Yes or no. And are you also incarnated um, subterranean, you know, as a smart giant? <laughs> yes or no? And are you incarnated, you know, or were you incarnated in underground, you know, as an ET? It's doing research, you know, genetic programming, maybe warfare, you know, what uh, maintaining your colony, whatever it is, yes or no. Have you been or are you incarnated, you know, as a sub, as a dragon? Mm -hmm. A dragon. Yes or no? Do you have any sub spirit guides? Yes or no? Or maybe, you know, you don't have any sub spirit guides, but you're supposed to get some, you know, right now and hook up. Is that correct? Yes or no? Now, if you have sub spirit guides, you know how many do you have? And you ask them to step forward now. Please, Armin. Yeah, they're coming in, you know, and now send them some love, you know, pull in as much as you can from heaven and earth, on the inhale, into your heart, and on the exhale, you know, send this to their hearts. You know, what else can you give them but love? Mm -hmm. So smile like an idiot, and, you know, you're an idiot compared to those guys. <laughs> Knuckle dragging. <laughs> Shim. <laughs> Just smile, do nice, and you know, send them that source love, or that love. All right, now that you know, feels a lot better now. Sorry, I got to do all the talking. I can't really focus that much on running it off here right now. Mm -hmm. So, um, let's ask, you know, are you in, in good standing, you know, with all the subs? Yes or no? Well, let's just <laughs> you know, ask about the main contenders. Are you still in good standing with the Nagas? Yes or no? Are you still in good standing with the Raptors? Yes or no? Of course, on your own time, you know, you can ask the good standing questions. Well, if you're not in good standing, you know, again, we ask that mercy and insight, you know, help this situation out as much as possible. Um, um, now, there must be, you know, some subterranean races, you know, that we are really in good standing with, you know, that are basically us, you know, or that are our people. Mm -hmm. So, um, let's just, <laughs> you know, ask them, you know, to please step forward now. Um, 
and smile like an idiot mm -hmm. and send some love you know, you know take as much from heaven and earth and send it to them you know best behavior mm -hmm. uh, yeah and watch that love that's coming back you know if there's anger coming back yeah, no, get out of there <laughs> But basically, from the quality of the love that's coming back, you know, you know what kind of company you got there. Hmm? All right. And so, if high self allows, you know, we ask, we give them permission, you know, to clear any resistances, you know, that is there between them and us. You know, there might be some dark technologies, you know, for some um, ill-meaning people. And beings, you know, that um, prevents us, you know, um, or interferes with our communication with these aspects. Mm -hmm. So we give full permission, you know, to have these um, resistances cleared. And if they're against the cosmic laws, you know, of divine justice here, we like to have those perpetrators also, you know, brought to the proper divine courts of justice. They can do something about it. Now, I'm an, I'm an, I'm an, make sure, you know, you agree. I'm not your daddy or guru or husband, so. Okay, yeah, it's kicking in now, and it always takes about five seconds after the okay. Now, um, you still uh, carry any, you know, <coughs> you know, bad karma, you know, from the Atlantean incarnation with any Serbs, yes or no? Yeah, there's quite a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So, well, we asked for forgiveness and we asked that we, you know, be helped, you know, to work this out really soon and really fast and really easily. Um, 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 no, it's more unlikely, but do you also have some bad karma, you know, from your human incarnation with Serbs? Yes or no? Yeah, I thought so. Mm -hmm. And now let's just, you know, project as much love unto all these subs. Mm -hmm. Smile like an idiot. You know, this is like doing the right thing. You know, so you can do in the whole corner. Mm -hmm. And just nod the head to, you know, agree, you know, um, to the spirit guides, give them permission to assist you. So we like to have all the curses, you know, that have been exchanged between us, our ancestors, and any subcultures. We like to have those clear, you know, both ways of the fence. Mm -hmm. um, 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 you know, enough of that nonsense. Phew. We may need some extra <laughs> divine help, you know, lots of mercy from source. You know, I mean, who can live all that karma? So please, we need some, some mercy. Um, um, um. And uh, most likely, there were some pretty unwholesome vows. <laughs> you know, they were taken in conflict or, you know, in interaction with the subs. So um, we like to have those unwholesome vows, you know, that are still prisons for us or them, you know, cleared. Um, um, mm -hmm. And then, so whatever, you know, wars, you know, or other competitions, you know, and hanky-panky <laughs> happened, you know, with the Serbs and us and our ancestors, you know, there's probably a lot of stuck enemies, you know, from those battles and those Machiavellian dealings, you know, whatever happened there. So we like to have those, you know, brought to the courts of divine justice if necessary. Or, you know, if, you know, we were on the wrong side, you know, or, you know, if it's possible, bring them to the Arcturian love feeling and ascension temples mm -hmm, and reunite them there with their loved ones, you know, pets, sweethearts, babies, you know, grannies, whatever. And, you know, bathe them in the unconditional love of source, doing a big healing, update them, and, you know, give them the info that they need, you know, to be able to forgive. You know, so what happened in other lifetimes, 
you know, to justify the karma, you know, what was volunteered for is a lesson in the sabotage of the dark side, you know, hidden things, spells, curses, misdirection, you know, and then also show the big picture, the really big picture. Mm -hmm. So then help them with the forgiveness, and as they do, clear all the magic, spells, curses, you know, bindings, contracts, you know, hypnotic suggestions, booby traps, bombs, blackmail, you know, <laughs> chains and, and bindings, glamours, love spells, you know, whatever it is, revenge spells, mm -hmm. reversals, backup systems, you know, you know, you guys know what has to be done, mm -hmm. please do so now, amen, 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 make sure you nod your head and smile and project love, you know, that's how you pay for that, mm-hmm, uh, yeah, then we, of course, you know, ourselves, our ancestors, and probably our friends and loved ones are also stuck, you know, from these conflicts. Some of us have been kidnapped, you know, and are tortured in vets and experimented on. And, you know, some are as slaves or work as a cyborg, <laughs> you know, mining somewhere, you know. And so wherever our aspects, you know, whether they're subterranean, you know, or, you know, above... <laughs> <laughs> surface dwellers, surfies, <laughs> surfies, <laughs> yeah, just to liberate them all, you know, if there's any pirates or slavers, yeah, take them to the courts of the wine justice, you know, we don't like that, and they're illegal, so yeah, liberate them all, mm -hmm. reunite them with loved ones, you know, clear the, clear the bindings, and all the Trauma that keeps him down through forgiveness, mercy, and supreme power, Archangel Michael, please. Then bring him into the heavens, reintegrate with our soul. Amen, amen, amen. Uh, so, you know, we ask now that all the karma that we still have in with the subs, you know, be cleared, you know, or be made clear to us in a nice way. Really, really nice way. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And let's just, you know, do the whole opponent opponent. You know, we probably did some wrong. <laughs> let's assume. Knowing myself. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, no, I, for sure. I, you know, I know the details. So, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. So, 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 so sorry, you know, hurting you so much, wasting all this time and energy. I'm so sorry. You know, please forgive us. Please forgive me. Please forgive us. Please forgive me. Please forgive us. Please forgive me. You know, on the higher levels, you know, we, of course, we all love you. You know, we all love you there on the higher levels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So ultimately, we love you. We love you. We love you, we love you, we thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. And just keep on pushing that love out, you know, that's, you know, you will decide to smile, probably the most sign of sincerity you can show right now. Mm -hmm. All right. And now, you know, from all the subs that love us, that support us, that want us to get enlightened, you know, we open up to their energies, to their presence, to their updates. Of course, all under the supervision of our high selves, committees. Mm -hmm. Now, um, and so there should be an energy coming through the floor, through your feet, into yourself. You ask that it also be brought into your house, into your car to your office, you know, wherever you sit, and, then, and, then, and then smile, kicking in. <laughs> so this is kind of like running love with Mother Earth, you would pull these energies into your body, all over your body, and then send your energies Mm -hmm. And if you ask that any resistances, you know, that get in the perfect, you know, the updates, we like to have those cleared now. Whether these are dark technologies, trauma, spells, curses, dark magic, gin programs, or whatever it is, find out who you want. Clear on, continue, finish. Um, just deep breathing.
people. And let's just, um, you know, ask them the questions. So, um, how do we relate to them? You know, how can they assist us? Hmm. Can they assist us through dreams? Looks like it. So let's give them permission, you know, to come into your dreams, you know, and to be very clear and explicit. And so you're not always wondering, you know, what the hell do they mean with that? Mm -hmm. And we also you give them permission to clear any interferences, you know, with your dreaming. You know, again, whether, you know, is there any um, networks <laughs> projecting stuff onto you or your cell phone? You know, or your angry neighbor, or your ex-wife, you know. Um, so we ask, you know, that these dark influences, also demonic entities, mm -hmm, be cleared and taken away from you, mm -hmm, and maybe brought to the cross of divine justice now. Um, um, And yeah, it looks like, you know, they have some really peaceful societies developed, you know, ways that are strange for us, but we would like to learn from You know, it's just like the Native Americans looked to the wolves, you know, to um, learn how to run a family and a clan. You know, let us look to those underground civilizations, you know, on how to have a peaceful life. <laughs> um, 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 So let's ask if they have a message for you. Mm -hmm. This is the time to tell you. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Please, I have a step forward and tell you now. Amen. So we thank all those beings, you know, that came and supported us, you know, that brought us, you know, to this website, to this YouTube channel, to this video. Mm -hmm. And that is nice work, you know, from your high selves and from your spirit guides, you know, acknowledge this, you know, love them for that. And also for protecting and guiding us, you know, in doing all this work of clearing attachment, entities, karma, etc. That's a lot of work. We appreciate this, you know, making our life feel easier, you know, helping us to make progress. Mm -hmm. So if anything dark or inappropriate, you know, has come to us or through us or between us, you know, also any misconception, you know, codes, energies, entities, spells, curses, and programs, you know, let's find those now. Um, 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 you know, also, you know, clear any backup programs, entities, etc. Um, and then, you know, um, reunite us with so soul fragments that can come back to us now, or reunite with our soul, and, you know, those splintered off aspects, mm -hmm. um, 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 you know, heal them, update them, you know, update and heal our spirit guides and our high selves, the different aspect of it. Um, and, and then seal us in, you know, with this absolute love of source. So this becomes more and more part of us, so we are automatically aligned with our heart, with our divinity, and with our inner strength, beauty, and wisdom. Um, and one, two, three, you're fully grounded now, and either keep snoozing or, you know, go back into vacant day consciousness again. Um, well, the welcome back, you know, to this reality. You should be feeling kind of floaty, mm -hmm. and uh, you probably shouldn't be driving. <laughs> you know, um, if you have to drive, I mean, really start uh, grounding. And so, um, you know, if you uh, like this, you know, video, um, please give me a thumbs up. You know, this will give more access to other people, you know, tell your friends, 
if you haven't subscribed yet well do so and, and or go to my um website you know see what else i got there you know i got freebies there you know all kinds of good information and of course you can book a session with me you know really get down to the nitty-gritty you know go to the fast track you know if you respond well to my meditation you know in a private session over skype and zoom or you know, okay you know we can really make this happen <laughs> And um, so drink a lot of water, you know, you're going to be detoxing, you know, like anything, you know, so as above, so below, so we cleared a lot of stuff above. So, you know, the physical carbon-based life form is going to also purify now. So if you get headaches, drink more water. And keep on smiling, you know, and uh, please, you know, give us your comments you know experiences you have you know so you are now you know you're not the only weirdo in town <laughs> yeah and i love you long time <laughs>